Hello guys, today we woke up very early because we're going to a very unique national park which is called Chingaz. Here we stop for a breakfast and the breakfast is the bowl of cafe, cheese and what's the name of this thing? Arepa. So arepa is a very traditional food in Colombia. There are like 42 types of arepas at least in Colombia. So this is one of them. They're all very different and they taste different. So each region has its own unique. Okay. So and to eat cheese, as I understand, you need actually to put it in your coffee and then just eat it in your coffee. Here we arrived. The sign says that further down we have only to walk, that the vehicles are prohibited and this nature is so incredible that yeah, I wouldn't ruin that with any vehicles. We started our hike at 3,270 meters and we're gonna go up to 3,600 meters and I'm already losing my breath. We're walking pretty fast. Here we hiked a little bit. We were actually at the entrance to the park. I'm not sure why we didn't drive actually, but whatever. Yeah, so over there is a little office. I think we'll need like to check in there or something. And from there we'll start a real hike. So it was a little pre-hike over there. That's the office. Our hike is going to here, Laguna Sagradas. Very unique place that I'm going to tell you about a little bit later. Honestly, I don't even know how long is the hike and how long we're gonna walk. How long is the hike in kilometers? Um, I think it's about, it's not that much, it's like six, seven kilometers. Okay. But it is like going up. So okay, so yeah, we're gonna like get like 300 meters or something yeah, out. Yeah, the difference in altitude is like okay. 300 meters. Yeah, so overall estimated hike is like around four hours. And as you heard, like six, six kilometers like round trip or just one way? No, like uh, round trip, okay. So it's three kilometers, you're basically getting up like 100 meters per kilometer. I think that's a piece of cake. And it's under 4,000 meters, which is still gonna feel some like low altitude and high altitude and the low amount of oxygen, but it's not that critical. I think it's totally normal in this case. Look at this view. Oh my God. Oh, there are some animals here. This is the sign of the National Park Chingaza and we're going today, our guy told us that we're going to be the only people on this hike. This is a very well preserved natural space where they only allowed around 40 or 50 people per day to enter the whole area. So even on the weekends when it's full you will not see a lot of people, but today we are really alone in the whole place. This was a sacred place, a sanctuary. We are entering into the most, one of the most sacred places, the Muiscas, that was the culture that inhabited this place and this territory before the colonization. My name is Suaye. It means, Sua means sun, and Ye means path. So it's like the path of the sun. In 
Gaza, for example, means like mountains of the god of the night. And Siecha means male god of water. We reach a really nice viewpoint here where we can look at the valley and in the mountains. Right now we just walked for a little bit. The altitude is 3,450 meters. So far it's totally fine. And the nature here is unbelievable. I start to see this kind of ecosystem here when you see that everything has little drops of moisture and just how it absorbs it and how humid it is here. It's very cool just to be here. You feel how it's a little bit colder than down there in Bogota where we came from this morning. I really, really enjoy it. And it's so quiet and only just the kind of little and kind of very quiet noise of nature but you can feel everything like river, wind, birds, plants moving around. Unbelievable. Also closer to the top, we have a lot of fry lejones here. They are a little bit smaller, but there are so many of them, like the whole field around, and it's so beautiful. As this is a secret place for Moiscas, they didn't believe in death. They believe that when they die, they become a spirit of frilejones or some animal here, and they come to this secret valley to live the rest of their lives. So actually, Every plant here is some ancestors of these people. And there is a very cool graffiti that I saw yesterday on the graffiti tour in Bogota, where you can see the frelajones and how they kind of at the bottom, there are like people walking into the valley. And that actually represents this moment that they are after the death, they're coming back to their sacred place where they're gonna live forever. These frelajones are really amazing plant. It's so unique in a way and it's designed by nature in such a crazy way that there are the young leaves in the middle inside there and they are the most vulnerable so they are kind of protected by the leaves surrounding them like their parents basically and these bigger leaves they have kind of covered in hair that that's how they get the moisture from the air and inside they have kind of they have kind of a raw where all of the water gets and then it goes all the way to the center to feed the youngest leaves and then when it grows these leaves dies and they create another kind of fur coat protecting the whole plant it's really amazing how the nature designs and creates this whole thing that it works in the perfect way for itself to be able to withstand the conditions where it is here as we are approaching the main view of the Lagos it's very important here to pay respect because it's the sacred place for the Moiscas the people who used to live here before the Spanish came and that was the place where they went to pray for their God and out of respect they used to turn backwards and just walk backwards and then turn around and see the lagoon. We would not walk backwards, but our guide asked us out of respect to look down and don't look into the lagoon. And when we're gonna reach the viewpoint of the lagoon, we will actually stay for a minute with our closed eyes, breathe, feel this space, and then we'll open our eyes and look at it. The main lagoon is named Siecha. That is the most sacred place here. So there is a legend that there were ceremonials over there where there was a new ruler of the people. He has to go all covered in gold into the water and the water should basically like take him. And the way they were doing is that Fray Lejones have some like sticky substance that they produce and they would cover the ruler in that sticky substance and then they would cover him in gold powder. 
there was also a golf ship he was like getting in that ship you can see that ship in Museo del Oro in Bogota and he goes in this ship he goes into the middle of the lake and then he gets into the water and then all, all of the gold goes out of him and then he gets back again without gold come back there was a ceremonial so this lagoon can basically accept him and then give him the spirit and wisdom to rule over his people and help them to be better this story was also known to spanish when they came here looking for gold because they thought that they're gonna see a lot of gold but that's not true they didn't find pretty much any gold just a little bit on the perimeter around on the golden ship there is nobody knows where the, that golden ship went because the golden ship that is in the museum is from another ceremonial site and this one is probably lost or maybe it's in some very private collection but we will never know about it and when the spanish came they saw there like the bottom of the lagoon has a lot of gold so they tried actually to empty that so when you look from the top you can see there is a waterfall they actually somehow drilled the holes to like empty the lagoon they didn't empty it completely only partially to realize there is no gold there and then later i think the german came or something somebody actually like plugged it and then the water filled up again and this is such a sacred place for the people that you are not allowed to actually go there and be near it and god forbid you go there into the water because this lagoon is like connection with the other world and if you're not the ruler who is doing this ceremony nobody is allowed to get in the water of this lagoon what's really important here is to be properly dressed as the weather changes all the time it can be sunny like right now or it could be rainy like it was a couple of minutes ago it could be very windy so you need to take with you everything sunscreen warm layers rain covers so you could be ready for any kind of weather that will not kind of prevent you from enjoying this beautiful experience of being in secret place in the mountains the hike is done and we are leaving this very beautiful area of the national park. Really, really worth going there. I was very impressed with all the landscape, with the stories of the people who used to live here, with the plants, with the nature, with how quiet, peaceful and tranquil it was there. So if you're around, I highly recommend you trying to get in here. It's not easy, you need to do it all online to get the permits and to get a guide because you must have a guide here i will link down the instagram of the guide who was with us really amazing guy told us a lot of cool stories so come here and enjoy this nature and as always put the thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you aren't already share it among your friends and into the next one